The big improvement package Ferrari will utilize in the Spanish Grand Prix is designed to do more than merely boost the top performance of its Formula 1 car. But the design looks very similar to something we've seen before at Red Bull and the other competitors. Have we gotten another copycat on the grid? Have Ferrari finally complied to the race pace of Red Bull? Ferrari has been a constant front row competitor this season, winning pole in Azerbaijan, but turning that into race performance has been more difficult. Despite being the second fastest team on average, Ferrari has only one podium result from six races this season and is fourth in the standings. A series of aerodynamic improvements will be utilized for the first time in Barcelona, with Ferrari aiming for a more consistent platform rather than a rise in downforce, even though it believes it has big room for improvement in performance. Pictures have emerged showing improved side pods on Carlos Sainz's car, for example, although Ferrari kept these modifications reasonably quiet on the Thursday of the Spanish GP. Ferrari is ditching its long-running in-wash side pod idea in favor of a downwash configuration like Red Bull. The new Ferrari side pods, as shown in these pictures, are a complete redesign of what the SF23 has previously used. The new version does away with the bathtub middle part, which has been a feature of Ferrari vehicles since the beginning of 2022. Instead, they have a more horizontal top surface that aids in the flow of air down into the diffuser region. This is based on the Red Bull concept, which the Milton Keynes-based team used to improve the performance of the RB19, and which has been adopted by many other teams. Ferrari's downwash ramp variation, like those from Alpine, Aston Martin and Mercedes, incorporates a water slide gully atop the bodywork to direct airflow down to the back area of the floor and coke bottle region. This comes as no surprise considering Ferrari's previous bathtub style solution, which gave it plenty of expertise with this type of surface contouring. However, Ferrari has kept part of its original side pod DNA, since the intake, undercut and S-shaped chassis duct all remain, albeit with their function likely altered significantly. Meanwhile, the upper slat of the mirror housing surrounding furniture has been reduced to reveal the outside area of the mirror body. Ferrari's decision to rethink side pod ideas comes as the company seeks to understand why its car is so fast on a single lap but struggles over longer race lengths. Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc agreed that there would be no big miracles or massive change from what is anticipated to the beginning of a gradual movement in development direction, rather than a significant in-season concept transition like Mercedes. At the moment, the thing is, we have an extremely peaky car that in qualifying, on one lap pace with new tires, the wind that we know exactly, we know how to drive the car, it's okay, said Leclerc when asked about the upgrades. As soon as we go a little bit out of those conditions, the car becomes, well, we lose so much downforce overall. We have been working a lot on that on this new car. So this should help us to not gain that much performance, but at least be a bit more consistent throughout the weekend, which will hopefully help us to have a better result on the Sunday. And what better way to test these new upgrades than at the Spanish Grand Prix? As Formula One has returned to familiar turf after a series of street circuits, there is no track in the world that drivers can compare to the circuit de Catalunya. Furthermore, the circuit is a fantastic indicator for truly experiencing the power balance. It's really important, especially because Barcelona is known for probably the best track to understand exactly where you are with the car. So I think it's really good to have these new upgrades here and to understand where are we, and so we can confirm still our weaknesses, I think in our mind. Even though we've had very different tracks, it's very clear for us where we need to work, and that is mostly on race pace, having a car that is easier to drive, and now, I think, is the perfect track to see whether this upgrade is going in the right direction," Leclerc said. The modifications are anticipated to include floor and side pod revisions, but it will not be as dramatic as Mercedes' evidence swap from short, narrow side pods to a more traditional and plainly downwashing shape. It's a bit of a new direction a bit into what we believe should be the right path into developing this car and making it a bit more drivable, a bit more consistent, better in the race," said Carlos Sainz. With this first step into this direction, we try and correct the deficiencies we have, but we also know this upgrade won't change our lives from one race to another. It's the first step of many steps. Ferrari CEO Fred Vasseur has consistently defended his team's performance this season emphasizing qualifying pace as proof of the SF23's potential. 
He admitted that Ferrari's results have fallen short of expectations thus far, but he feels they do not reflect the car's real capability, adding that if the car was as tough to drive as some have said, including the drivers, I cannot imagine we'd be one-tenth behind Red Bull in qualifying. Vasseur did admit, though, that there is a distinct difference in the car's competitiveness over one lap versus a racing stint, and the balance shifts from corner to corner, mind alone lap to lap or during a stint, have been a development emphasis. He also hoped that the changes will provide a more relevant assessment of Ferrari's deficit, while Leclerc stated that these new parts should also establish whether Ferrari has found the source of its divergent Saturday-Sunday performance. For quite a long time, we didn't really know where it was coming from, said Leclerc. We started to understand where it's coming from, and we are putting our effort into it. Whether this will crystallize once it's on track, we'll see. Ferrari anticipates more modifications beyond this package, but Vasseur insists the car's base stays unchanged. Our hope will do a step forward in Barcelona for sure, but it won't be the end of the development of the car, Vasseur said. We have updates for the next two, three races coming in after this one. So what are your thoughts? Can we consider Ferrari a copycat after their new upgrades? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And what can we expect for Ferrari at the Spanish Grand Prix after these upgrades? Charles Leclerc had to settle for sixth place at the Monaco Grand Prix, but he expects to be back on the podium in Barcelona this weekend. According to the Ferrari driver, winning is not realistic, but finishing in the top three is. I think just try and maximize absolutely everything as always, Leclerc said. It's always the goal as a driver, try and improve the car as much as possible. Hopefully have a car that is a bit more easy to drive in order for me to maximize the car more often. Because at the moment, as I was saying, it's very picky, so very difficult to be on the limit all the time. But then, once we will manage that, I'm sure the results will come. The Ferrari driver, on the other hand, is convinced that success will follow once the SF23 becomes less unpredictable. It is one of the issues that the Italian racecourse will address this weekend. What is possible this weekend? Podium, yes. Victory, at the moment, Red Bull are in another league in the race. So if nothing happens to them, then I don't think it's realistic, for now at least. Leclerc is encouraged by the developments his team has brought to Spain. Ferrari is launching a new rear suspension system that is expected to save time. And as Sainz said in the press conference about the update, this upgrade is not going to change our life from one race to another. It's the first step of many steps to come still. Win or no win, Carlos Sainz is having a fantastic racing weekend. The Ferrari driver is competing in his home race in Barcelona. The Spaniard discusses what the track means to him and what Ferrari's improvements will be able to provide the Italian racing stable. There are a lot of good memories, even from when I was a kid. You know, when I was 10 years old and I came here for the first time to meet Fernando, I met Michael, I saw Ferrari for the first time, Sainz said. And 18 years later, to be actually driving here as a Ferrari driver, with the options of at least trying to get a podium or a win, it's something really, really special. The Spaniard admitted that he always seems to do somewhat better in his own nation than in other Grand Prix. I'm just in a better mood when I race at home, and I do things with more interest. I do things with a bit more energy, the one-time race winner added. Ferrari has updated its car in Barcelona. What effect will it have? We are planning an upgrade. Only time will tell how successful it will be. It's a bit of a new direction a bit into what we believe should be the right path into developing this car and making it a bit more of a drivable car, more consistent, better in the race that we know is our main weakness. You've seen it hasn't been an easy start to the season and we've been struggling, but it is true that with this first step into this direction, we try and correct the deficiencies we have, but we also know that this upgrade is not going to change our life from one race to another. It's the first step of many steps to come still. So what are your thoughts? A good decision by Ferrari and their higher-ups? And is this a decision that Vasseur could be heavily responsible for? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And do you think they'll be able to achieve a podium spot? We'll have to see what happens, but for now, the last podium spot seems destined for Fernando Alonso. Thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you in the next one.